Hey Orchard, they are recarpeting the church office this week, so I am working at home. Welcome to my outdoor office. You know, one of the hardest truths of life is that life just isn't fair. There's always somebody that's taller or thinner, has more money, or is a better athlete. On top of that, there are the struggles, the challenges, and even the tragedies of life, all of which remind us again and again that life isn't fair. And a lot of these unfair things about this life are, are things over which we have little or often no control. They just are what they are. But even though that's true, um, there are still an awful lot of really great things about this life. It's a gift and we need to make the very best of it that we can. Um, and when it comes to that, we need to realize that there are in fact a lot of things that are under our control. And the Bible speaks a key truth about that and about how we ought to live because that is, in fact, true. Um, Galatians 6, 7 says this. It says, you reap what you sow. This is a saying that's actually become really well known. You may have heard it before and not even known that it comes from the Bible, but it does. To sow is a farming term, and it means to plant something. So the meaning of this saying is that you're going to harvest what it is that you plant. And the question that it really pushes us to answer with our lives is, what are you sowing in your life? Because we do so often, in fact, reap what we sow. If we sow negative things, they tend to bring up a harvest of negative consequences, that things that come back to us. And if we sow positive things, they tend to bring a harvest of positive things to back, back to us. Now, is that 100% all of the time? No, of course not. Because as we said, life is not fair. But it is true an awful lot of the time that we do reap what we sow. That's why the Bible says this phrase, and that's why it's become such a popular, well-known phrase that's been repeated again and again through time so often that many people who hear it don't even know, in fact, that it is from the Bible. So what are you sowing in your life? Are you sowing positive things like kindness and respect and honesty, things that will bring back positive consequences to you? Or are you sowing a lot of other things, negative things that may tend to bring really negative consequences back to you? You know, and a funny thing about life is that it's so easy for negative things to creep in to creep into our lives like weeds into our yard or our garden. And a lot of the time, they're really small at first, and there's just a few of them, so we don't think of them as really being a big deal. But so quickly, those negative weeds can grow up and cause all kinds of trouble and even really take over. So the goal is to sow good things, things that please God and bring a positive consequence. So again, I want to ask us all to think about what it is that we are sowing in our lives. One last thought, though. Even if you find yourself in one of those places where your life has got some weeds, where maybe even some of those negative things have taken over and you are dealing with the consequences of those negative choices, I want you to remember that God loves you deeply, that God is going to see you through it, and that it's the time has come in that situation to begin to uproot those things one by one so that you can then use that space in your life to sow positive things, things that please God.